हेलो एंड वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन स्पेशल इलेक्शन शो मीट योर नेता एंड टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट इन आर प्रोग्राम बीजेपीज न्यू डेलीज लोकसभा कैंडिडेट एंड समबडी हु इज मेकिंग हर इलेक्टोरल डेब्यू इन दिस लोकसभा इलेक्शन एंड शी इज द डॉटर ऑफ लेट एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर सुषमा स्वराज वेटरन भारतीय जनता पार्टीज लीडर Bhansuri Swaraj with us uh, thank you so much ms swaraj for talking to cnn news 18 thank you for my having me my first question would be hmm. how things have changed in your life ever since your name your candidature was announced by the party and how did you get to know about this well i was watching television with my father and uh, i saw that uh, the party has bestowed this responsibility uh, on me on the television and i said aapka adesh sar mat hai So how how how's life changed? Like I mean, campaign or anything that has started? I think I'm speaking to journalists a little bit more. Uh, campaign has started. Yeah. Campaign started on second of March itself. I'll be very honest. In fact, uh, I was scheduled to go speak uh, to ABVP Karikartas at JNU, and I made sure that uh, I kept that uh, promise because I did not want to start my electoral journey by breaking a promise. So campaign started. on uh, 2nd of march itself and i must say it was uh, you know it was quite surreal because i started my political journey as an abvp karyakarta so to start my polit my electoral uh, journey with abvp it was like life coming around the full circle new delhi lok sabha seat is a high profile seat when i say this i mean uh, your uh, party uh, leaders like atul bihari vajpayee lal krishna adwani even rajesh khanna they contested from uh, new delhi seat and also of course your mother was the chief minister of delhi as well so how everything uh, you know is going in your mind and uh, what are your plans for what are your vision for new delhi constituency per se and for delhi so uh, two aspects to this first of all no seat is high profile every single matadata is devatulya and i'll be very honest one needs to do jansampark one needs to go to every single voter across sort of economic disparities across caste creed religion community area reg region everything so there is no no seat is high profile every seat demands demands equal amount of hard work and uh, regarding what is my vision of uh, quad delhi then i would say it's twofold one is of course making sure that the whole vision of vikasit bharat that the honorable prime minister has translates on the ground all the jan kalyanakari yojanae that the honorable uh, prime minister has propagated formulated reaches the last person of the constituency on the other hand there are certain local issues which i think need to be highlighted for example in delhi something as important as the ayushman bharat yojana has not been implemented by the honorable uh, chief minister arvind kejriwal ji ayushman bharat is giving health cover of up to 5 lakh to beneficiaries and unfortunately the people of delhi have been deprived of this benefit so that is something that what i am going to definitely voice similarly issues of pollution mm. clean drinking water mm. because I'll tell you what Delhiites don't want free water they want clean drinking water. Mm -hmm. I have strategies to implement which I'm not going to share right now. Let me if the if the public chooses me as their representative then this these two aspects of clean air and clean drinking water is something that I'm definitely going to highlight and do something very strategic about it. And lastly I think the people of Delhi are very disillusioned uh, with the Aam Aadmi government. because of the multiple and long list of canonized scams this is a party that came to power on an anti corruption plank but today if you see aam aadmi party has become a mirror image of the congress party there is a long list whether it is a sharab ghotala the spurious drugs ghotala the farji pathological test ghotala the shish mahal ghotala the delhi jal board ghotala it's a long list and i know that uh, people of delhi are disillusioned and that concern needs to be highlighted in parliament which i will if the people choose me you talked about uh, clean water not free water i mean not only water but electricity and in fact uh, the bus rides for uh, women and also now arvind kejriwal government has announced 1000 rupees per month for uh, women in delhi how do you see this freebie culture and how you are going to counter this 
the people of delhi are very very smart now let's take the last example that you gave the latest example is what they said uh, announced in their budget i was watching an interview of atishi ji uh, and the honorable minister said that this is something which is not going to be implemented uh, in the near future at all it is first going to go to cabinet by june then they're going to take a decision on it then they are going to sort of implement it maybe by october etc but i'll tell you what's happening if you see the honorable chief minister had actually sworn on the lives of his children that he is not going to go into a coalition with the congress party then he did a 180 degree u turn the people of delhi do not believe a word of what he's saying so all these schemes that he is bringing especially the latest scheme that he announced in his budget it's nothing but a chunavi jumla mm. and people of delhi are very very wizened up mm. of course if i'm chosen as a member of parliament to represent the mm. concerns of the new delhi constituency then i am going to make sure that i can do everything in my power to not only highlight these concerns but also solve them to the best of my ability ever since your uh, candidature announced by bharatiya janata party i saw atishi's uh, press conference i saw somnath bharti's press conference now what atishi says that uh, you were part of the legal team who were representing lalit modi she also raised the question of uh, chandigarh mayoral election you were also part of that team she is calling you anti democratic and somnath bharti asked you five questions and in fact he calls you deshdrohi so how would you respond to these allegations i would respond are... to each of those allegations if they were correct i've said this time and again the research team of aam aadmi party is mahalizi atishi ji and somnath ji should have just given me a call when they wanted to do a press conference kwami i would have sent them a copy of each and every order they need to first get their facts right before asking me these questions based on false allegations lekin main kahungi aap keechad phailate rahiye main kamal khilati rahungi because this new delhi lok sabha seat uh, has arvind kejriwal's assembly constituency as well and uh, and of course aam aadmi party has been saying that they have done tremendous work in delhi uh, and especially this time around congress and aam aadmi party are contesting together hmm. so how that uh, calculation goes into your mind and your you know all the strategies that you are making around them it does not it does not because it is immaterial whether they are in coalition or not first of all uh, not only uh, i am actually a resident of uh, arvind kejriwal ji's constituency i have not seen my uh, elected uh, legislative assembly member ever in the constituency i am saying this as a voter mm. now coming back to the coalition i it is immaterial whether the aam aadmi party and the congress are in coalition or not for two reasons if you see the aam aadmi party leader arvind kejriwal ji the honorable cm used to sort of flash this black diary in which he used to say that it's a 500 crore corruption club that particular book had a series of names of many a congress stalwarts mm. in it today the aam aadmi party is drenched in corruption head to toe it seems as if they have achieved the eligibility criteria for this 500 crore membership club also this is a coalition that is wedged on selfish interests and whenever you have a coalition that is hinged on selfish interests that is when your rajadharm and rashtradharm they both get slaughtered at the altar i'll give you a simple example what happened in sandesh khali not a single member of the congress party or the aam aadmi party spoke against the horrors of sandesh khali similarly there were very serious allegations mm. against an aam aadmi party leader about uh, a poxo allegations of uh, misbehaving with a minor daughter of another aam aadmi party worker mm. the congress remained silent and the aam aadmi party remained silent in fact it just shows that they are so busy <laughs> sort of dealing with their gadbandan dharm mm. that they have forgotten their raj dharm and their rashtra dharm arvind kejriwal just uh... got the bail from uh, the delhi's court in that uh, uh, ed's matter in the court and also alongside k kavita has been uh, arrested. arrested by yeah. the agency how do you see these developments so it's very very saddening that it even came to this that mr kejriwal had to seek bail mm. first of all 
this was a bailable offence, so he was about to get bailed. There's nothing new in it. Yes. So I know that he's sort of pumping it up as a great victory. What is really saddening is that the Honourable Chief Minister had to even seek bail. Yes. When ED serves a summon yes. under PMLA, then it is mandatory in law to adhere to those summons. Yes. When you do not appear and you flout that summon, then you actually commit a criminal offence, which is punishable under Section 174 of the IPC. Yes. The ED went to court claiming, basically stating that eight summons have been flouted by the Honourable CM K J Valji and therefore a series of offences eight times have been committed under Section 174 of the IPC. The court yesterday refused to grant any relief and made sure that Mr. K J Val had to appear physically and today he had to seek bail. Had the Honourable Chief Minister simply gone and joined the investigation, the situation should not have actually come to this. That's one. Now, regarding uh, what happened, the arrest of Kavitaji mm -hmm. yesterday, there are very serious allegations. Two of the allegations are, one, that she was member of the South Lobby, mm -hmm. that in collusion with the Ahmadmi Party ministers formulated the, uh, the impugned liquor policy. The second is that she was holding Benami shares in one particular uh, liquor company mm -hmm. that received kickbacks up to 90 to 100 crore rupees and that is why the investigating agencies it seems have arrested her because possibly custodial interrogation would be required and I say this as a lawyer. If I talk about uh, CA it has been notified now the questions are being raised on CA as well people like uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejwal is saying now you people from Pakistan will get the uh, citizenship of India what about our children how do they get the jobs because these people will also be in the you. And many other opposition parties are also raising question on CA. He Why is only these three such countries? Such an educated, intelligent man. It doesn't, you know, it's unbecoming of the Honorable CM to raise such kind of issues and spread such kind of misunderstandings. First of all, he also knows that CA is a law which grants citizenship. It doesn't take away citizenship. Second, CA grants citizenship to certain minorities from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan who have already come into India, who were persecuted on, on because of their religion in those nations and who have come to India before 31st of December 2014, mm -hmm. right? They have already have refugee status. It just expedites that sort of citizenship process for them. This is a promise that was made by the founding fathers of the nation. Unfortunately, the history of India is that we were partitioned on religious lines. That particular time, violence was so widespread that many of the minorities from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan could not make it across the borders. The then government had promised that once the situation settles, come to India, this is your land, your citizenship will be granted. Later on, the Congress government sort of went back on their word. The Bharatiya Janata Party is fulfilling that particular promise. CAA, the law was already passed in 2019. This is nothing new. Only the rules have been notified now because they were delayed due to COVID. Power flows from the legislation, not from the rules. Mm -hmm. And it is very disheartening to see that Mr. Kejriwal mm -hmm. is actually indulging in vote bank politics and spreading misinformation. He should not be doing it. Uh, so, Ms. Swaraj, uh, the next question would be that uh, your government passed the Women Reservation Bill in the Parliament, and which was very significant. Of course. And now you have already released the list of 267 candidates. But many opposition parties are raising this question that uh, I mean, this Women Reservation uh, cannot be implemented right now due to certain constitutional reasons of course but at least uh, you can show this in, in this in your candidate list that you are giving representation to women only 16 percent women have got tickets as of now that is such an unfair criticism mm. let's talk about delhi Ahmadmi party has not actually given ticket to a single woman candidate and on the other hand, the Modi government has already ensured that the Bharatiya Janata Party has fielded not one but two women in the field, both Kamaljit Sehrawatji and myself. See, I'll tell you what, 
मोदी जी जो कहते हैं वो करते हैं नारी शक्ति वंदन अधिनियम 33 परसेंट रेजर्वेशन इन फेवर ऑफ वुमेन इन टू इंश्योर पॉलिटिकल एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ मातृशक्ति ऑफ द कंट्री इज सच अ सिग्निफिकेंट स्टेप नो अदर गवर्नमेंट वॉज एबल टू एक्चुअली फॉर्मुलेट ए पोलिटिकल विल अक्रॉस पार्टी लाइन्स बट द मोदी गवर्नमेंट डिड सत्ताईस साल पुराना विघ्न उन्होंने हरा है ये नारी शक्ति वंदन अधिनियम लाकर so i'll tell you what i think sometimes the opposition sort of rakes up issues only for the sake of raking them up and uh, if we talk about the target that prime minister modi has talked about like 400 seats for nda and 370 seats for bjp ji the question which is being uh, asked is that how that is going to be achieved and uh, also if uh, you are so confident about uh, this target then why it required party to change or drop six sitting mps in delhi so there are two questions in mm, this yeah. first ab ki baar 400 par it is a pledge mm. it is not a nara ye sankalp hai aur sankalp ko siddhi tak leke jayegi bharat ki janta right now comes the whole aspect of changing now let me tell you bharatiya janta party mein ticket katta nahi hai ticket milta hai हमारे यहाँ पर पद नहीं होते दायित्व होते हैं एज लॉन्ग एज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हैज बीन बेस्टोर्ड टू यू यू एक्चुअली डिस्चार्ज इट टू द बेस्ट ऑफ योर एबिलिटी लेटर ऑन इफ दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी द बैटर्न इज पास ऑन टू समी एल्स देन वन इज सपोज टू गाइड देम इन एक्चुअली मेकिंग श्योर दैट दैट इंडिविजुअल फुलफिल्स दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू द बेस्ट ऑफ देयर एबिलिटी बिकॉज पर हैव द पार्टी हैज सॉर्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट रूल्स फॉर यू इट्स एज सिंपल इज दैट एंड नथिंग मोर last question before you uh, you know head towards your programs uh, for the day uh, any piece of advice that uh, your mother would have given to you you know for uh, i mean for life or for the politics that you want to share with the viewers oh absolutely i know that she would have said nirbhay raho nirbhik raho kaam karti rahe ho baaki sab kuch krishna pe chhod do thank you so much thank you so much. that was the bjp's uh, new delhi lok sabha candidate pansuri swaraj talking to cnn news 18